What's going on guys, Aldrin Astacio here at Exponential San Diego Convention Center here in downtown. There's a ton of stuff happening in these showrooms right now and a lot of it is based around drone autonomy, but everything from military, commercial, industrial use drones are all in these halls. So let's head in there now, see what is new, what's gonna be coming out. Also, a lot of things that, just as far as the commercial industrial side that I just really don't know about. Hoping to find out a lot more at this show. So let's head on in Exponential 2024. Hi, my name is Joshua Ziering. I'm the founder of Aloft.ai. We are a drone operations management platform that includes airspace, flight logging, checklists and risk assessments, and even live streaming. This is everything you need to manage a group of people flying a fleet of drones safely and compliantly in the national airspace. We're super excited to be here at AUVSI 2024 Exponential because we're announcing our partnership with Anzu Robotics. This is an awesome drone with thermal capability, long flight time. It's made in Malaysia, not anywhere else. And it has the full capability to run the Aloft platform on the controller. So now all of the niceties that come with your fleet management with Aloft run natively on the Anzu Robotics Raptor. So for more information, you can reach out to sales at aloft.ai or you can go to aloft.ai or anzurobotics.com. We're really excited to be here and thank you for watching. All right, here at the Bay Systems booth and check this out. Look at this drone up here, which is attached to this pod, which they're calling the Case Vac Pod, meant to extract military recovery and it fits a person on the inside. Of course, you can use it for specialist tactical insertion. You can drop medical equipment if you need to, disaster relief, search and rescue but super cool application here. And they're just showing it right now with a person on the inside of how you might be able to get them out autonomously and you're able to bring them to safety. A bunch of different applications. As you can see here, the drone is designed to come up top, mount at the very top of this pod and do whatever you need to do. Extract people, move them around, bring medical supplies in. All right, guys, I'm here at the booth of Ghost Robotics. And man, if you want to stop people in their tracks, have a robot at your booth. This one is the QUGV. They call it the War Times Best Friend, mainly because it looks like a little robot dog, but it's meant to keep humans safe by putting these types of robots in environments or in compromising positions where a human might be at risk. Now, these robots, of course, are meant to go in natural or urban environments throw it in there to collect data, to gather intelligence, a perfect for security, asset protection, as well as tons of military specific use cases. I can definitely see why they call it the wartime's best friend because if you are out there in the field and you can have a robot with you to go ahead and collect data and look out for other things, I would definitely want this thing on my side. Hi, my name is Jordan, I'm with uh, GPC. We're here at AUVSI Exponential 2024. Uh, GPC is really the only case provider that has a 100% focus on drones and robotics. Uh, we've been in the industry since the very beginning and always had a special focus uh, for drones. We have a great understanding of the way that users interact with their equipment in the field and, and we design precision cases to, to help complement um, pilots and a variety of different users. We have a, a large catalog of, of DJI products and also we've pushed more into the custom space to help with industrial and commercial uses. and. We have uh, anything drones and robotics we can help you with. You can find us at goprofessionalcases.com. Hi, I'm Nils Thorgerson. I'm the CEO of Verge Aero, and we make everything you need to uh, fly drone shows successfully out in the wild. So uh, this is our uh, uh, X7 drone, which uh, is designed to uh, allow people to independently operate drone shows. You can see here is the LED display. Uh, which gives you uh, the pixel that you fly up in the sky. We think drone shows are really cool and uh, you can take hundreds of these and do all kinds of interesting formations uh, that you create with our software. So we've designed the software, the drone itself, and uh, they will run tightly together so that you can really quickly uh, get up and running and fly shows and have fun. Hey guys, this is Kyle with Innova Drone, uh, based here out of San Diego, uh, showing off our shadow quad today. Uh, multiple payloads, uh, runs a very large battery, which will give us about 90 minutes of flight time. You can also run a tethered system, which will give us about 1,500 hours of flight time. Got nice foldable arms, so it folds down real nice. 
put like uh, LiDAR systems on there so you can do LiDAR mapping, um, terrain mapping. I'm Brad Gay, I'm a meteorologist at Meteomatics. We're a Swiss-based company that specializes in weather drones. When we think about the weather today, a lot of the data that we're getting above the surface is collected by weather balloons, but they're getting expensive, they're not very sustainable, and for us to have the data that we need to make better forecasts and to support a, an increasingly autonomous airspace, we need to understand what's actually going on up there. So we've developed the Meteo drone, um, designed manufactured these in Switzerland. They fly from the surface up to 20,000 feet and collect temperature, humidity, pressure, and wind data. That's all available in real time, and you can do it as often as you like. Then that data helps you to make either better operational decisions or to bring into your weather forecast model so that you can get better predictions out of it. For more information about what we're doing at Mediomatics, you can visit our website at mediomatics.com or find us on social media, LinkedIn, for example. All right, guys, I'm at the booth of Metro Air, and this is a super cool concept. Like, it is still a concept. Now, the idea is from the sky to street, urban air mobility for all. Now the idea is to have a platform here, which is the flying module. Now they do have a sample of that flying module here at the booth, but uh, so this isn't a fully done up um, uh, platform that is currently working. But the idea is to have their flying module that will attach to your vehicle. So you'd be able to dock and undock the flying module on top of your car. And as you can see here, you would take it up to the vertical elevator, launch it off of the pad, and you're able to do that have it attached, and then land at another vertiport at your destination. So this is a concept, but really cool, of just the direction of where people are taking some of the drone technology. This is their largest sample, where as of right now, it doesn't have anything that shows like a car docking or anything like that. But the ideas are super cool of what people are trying to do with the drones, drone technology, and transportation. I'm Tobin Fisher, CEO at Vantage Robotics. Uh, we are showing off our Vesper drone and our Vision 2 controller today. Uh, so Vesper is an ISR drone. Uh, the things that make this drone special is it's got 56 minute flight time, which for the class is, as far as we're aware, the best available. Uh, far and away the quietest drone in the market, so it offers the ability to see without being seen. Uh, exceptional zoom and exceptional low light performance. So. This camera will offer extremely clear 4K imagery down to about uh, 10 millilux, so which is about a quarter moon on a, uh, uh, at night. So extremely capable for any sort of ISR operations. Vision 2 is our ground control station. Uh, you know, this, one of the things that makes this ground control station unique is we're one of the only companies that actually built a ground control station as a computer from the ground up. Uh, and that let us select components that met the needs of our ISR customers. Uh, specifically having an extremely bright screen, 2,500 nits. Uh, most of the folks that are making uh, ground controllers are wrapping sticks around tablets, but about a 600 nit screen don't really work for outdoors, as well as because we're building a custom computer ourselves, it's not actually wrapping sticks around a screen, I'm sorry, wrapping sticks around a tablet. Uh, it lets us make something that's much smaller and lighter. So this is 620 grams for the entire ground controller. Uh, and then it's built to the SROC standard, which means that the radio module is replaceable. So you can use this controller to control UGVs, any drones, uh, and it's as simple as basically swapping out this radio module to suit the robot you're controlling. We can be, uh, you can find our website at vantagerobotics.com, uh, V-A-N-T-A-G-E, robotics.com. All right, that was day one. I wasn't able to talk to too many booths because I had to actually leave a little bit early. But I'll be back tomorrow. Make sure you guys check out my next video.